ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining today. This is your host Nino inviting you here on Android to a brief adventure in Termux, which is this Linux environment running in Termux, where we shall try out one very funny and perhaps surprising affair in common Lisp, a very classical programming language available here in the shape of ECL or Embeddable Common Lisp, a classic hair to Kyoto Common Lisp from the beginning of the 1980s, as you can see straight at the beginning of the copyright notice. And, you know, list processing, as the name of the language really stands for that, is the core thing of Lisp. And there are a lot of functions which you can be using on lists. You can, in fact, for instance, simply define them as variables such as the list ll here which shall simply consist out of a b c d e and f and then you can do things with them like i can just you know use the variable so that it returns a result itself or you could use all sorts of functions on such lists for instance, the append function in order to concatenate two lists. Now, append is a so-called non-destructive function in so far as the elements are being used in order to create a new list and append does not affect the original lists which are being used for the appending operation. So when I have append ll to itself, what we're getting is A, B, C, D, E, F and A, B, C, D, E, F. Simply twice the list we had before, right? But append has a so-called destructive equivalent, nconc, to concatenate two lists. And what nconc is doing is that it does change the structure of its first element. In other words, the first element supplied to nconc is itself being changed and there is not a completely new result being produced. And the consequence of this here is that the first list, the first time LL is being supplied as an argument, is being subjected to concatenation. But <laughs> that does not finish as it is being supplied also as second argument. And so to say, the concatenation is being repeated and repeated and repeated infinitely such as this, because simply <laughs> the ancient Greek tenant of Aristotelic philosophy, henti a henti, a thing is a thing, and that means not a different thing, is simply no longer valid when you are using a function that is considered impure as nconc, as it is really changing the argument rather than creating a new result. And that is already the end of today's brief demonstration, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed it. You can try it out. It's nothing dangerous. You can press Ctrl C when you get tired of it. I hope to greet you here soon again for further foolery, and if not a member of our friendly little club yet, I would be very grateful if you were to consider it. Until we meet again, have a wonderful time, thank you for watching, and goodbye!